tonight, the bodies of a man and a woman found on a beach north of Brisbane being treated as suspicious. A 13-year-old girl has drowned after a boat capsized on the New South Wales coast. Terror in Treb, the police officer who swapped himself with a hostage has died of his injuries. And champion Mayor Winks sets a new world record winning her 24th straight victory. This is 7 News with Angie Asimus. Good afternoon. Police have launched an investigation tonight after the bodies of a man and woman were found on a beach on Bribey Island, north of Brisbane. The pair, thought to be in their 30s or 40s, were discovered by a passerby at 8 o'clock this morning. Police are treating it as suspicious. Reporter Katrina Blowers joins me from the Sunshine Coast. Katrina, what's the latest? Well, a short time ago, Ange, police uh, seized a car and a trailer from this boat ramp. They've checked it for fingerprints. It's hoped that it could hold the clue to exactly who this couple was and what they were doing on the northern tip of Bribey Island and how it is that they came to die. As you mentioned, their bodies were found at around 8 o'clock this morning by a Parks and Wildlife officer who was inspecting turtle nests. He found a man and a woman aged in their 30s or 40s 40s. They were lying at the high tide mark and they were clothed only in swimmers. They weren't wearing any life vests. Police believe that they were in the water for around 24 hours. Now, nearby at a Karma beach, a jet ski believed to belong to the couple was found anchored. And today, local jet ski groups have been putting the call out via social media, trying to identify who this couple were because no missing persons reports have been lodged in the last 24 hours matching their description and Ange police are at this time treating their deaths as suspicious because some marks and injuries were found on their bodies but they also believe that those injuries could be consistent with uh, environmental damage. Okay thanks Katrina Blowers on the Sunshine Coast. Thanks, Paul. Jockey Hugh Bowman piloted Winx to a world record 17th Group 1 victory at Rose Hill this afternoon. The Wonder defeated a small but elite field to claim her third straight George Ryder stakes, extending her winning streak to 24. Winx moves up now at the 150. Heads off a game, happy clapper. Kemantari gets going late, but Winx is edging clear for a world record of 17 Group 1s, and Winx wins it by three quarters. We've got a, a big decision to make about. Royal Escort or going to Europe. I will try and give you some indication this week. The feature race, the $3.5 million golden slipper, went to Esther Jarb, trained by the Hawks stable. Esther Jarb hanging on from the hood and Esther Jarb! Esther Jarb led all the way in the slipper. It's just a very special feeling, obviously, when um, I lost mum at a young age, when I was sort of when I was 15, 16, and I never thought I'd be uh, riding at the elite level, let alone sort of coming to Sydney and riding in a golden slipper and winning one. The winning prize money of $2 million more than covers the Phillies' purchase price of $1.7 million. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle delighted crowds as they embarked on their first official visit to Northern Ireland. They met school children, visited the Titanic Belfast and even managed to squeeze in a pint of Guinness. Laurel Irving reports from London. Thanks, Laurel. Still to come in 7 News, more revelations about Donald Trump's alleged affairs, hints of photographic evidence from Stormy Daniels. And the dream of flying to Europe non-stop is here. The Perth to London Dreamliner prepares for takeoff. That's next. Scandalous allegations about Donald Trump show no sign of slowing down. A cryptic tweet from Stormy Daniels' lawyer hinted that there may be photographs of the alleged relationship. And an ex-Playboy model has broken her silence about another alleged affair with the US president. Ashley Mullaney reports. Thank you, Rob. Well, time for sport with Jim Wilson. Jim, big injury blow for an NRL star. Yes, Ange, it impacts Penrith and also New South Wales. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Coming up, Nathan Cleary set for a lengthy stint on the sidelines. It will almost certainly see him miss Origin 1 in Melbourne. While the Bombers are flying after beating the Crows and the Western Bulldogs are premiers in the AFL women's competition. And Cricket Australia and the coach are fed up with the personal attacks on our players. That's next. 
Welcome back, everyone. Essendon has made a successful start to its season after a strong come-from-behind win over the Crows at Eddie Had Stadium. Bombers mid for Zach Merritt was forced from the ground after a Richard Douglas bump, and Essendon found themselves down by 20 points. They lifted in the final quarter, kicking six of the last seven to beat last year's runners-up. I think Bert van Marwijk might have his work cut out for the World Cup beginning in late June. Um, just been out of Rose Hill. Wonderful afternoon. Five group ones. Amazing. Uh, Winks, incredible. And uh, a great win to the Hawks stable in the Golden Slipper. Yeah, and, and the Winks team, a lot to think about in the next uh, little while. Yeah, Lots of opportunities. wealth of riches. Yep. Uh, nice position to be if you were Chris Wallace. <laughs> Absolutely. See you at 6 o'clock. See you then. Thank okay. you, Jimmy. Well, still to come in 7 News, the wanted poster issued for Punxsutawney Phil over Groundhog Day deception. And all the weather details for the rest of the weekend. That's next. Checking the national forecasts now. Brisbane, partly cloudy, 29 degrees. Sunny top of 33 for Sydney before late rain. Rain developing in Canberra and Hobart as well. Gusty showers for Melbourne, 23. Shower or two for Adelaide, top of 22. Cloudy for Perth, fine. And 34 for Darwin. Well, everybody's favourite for seeing Groundhog is now a villain. Punks and Tawny Phil is a wanted suspect in Pennsylvania, accused of being a fraud. The rodent predicted winter would last for six more weeks, but that deadline passed. Local law enforcement has issued a warrant for Phil's arrest and the sheriff's poster says he's wanted for deception describing the criminal as having brown and grey hair and sharp teeth. And that is 7 News for now. Our next bulletin is 7 News at 6. I'm Angie Asimus. Thanks for your company.